This show is brought to you by D-Face Marketing. D-Face Marketing. Marketing. The underground sound you've been missing. Crap. Dr. Esper. MCLB. Nerd. Empire. Stream Magazine. Wrestling Mayhem Show. WesternPAJuggler.com. Bring it down since 2001. Log on to www.dfacemarketing.com. Daddy X is back with us once again from the Cottonmouth Kings, and uh, they've just released their out al- their album uh, yesterday, as of this recording, uh, the Green Album in stores. What's up? Uh, just back in effect here, man. The Green Album just dropped October 28th. Uh, we've just been out doing some promos for it in stores and stuff like that, getting ready to take off on tour Halloween night. Out, now we're starting in Phoenix, Arizona. We're doing a big Halloween. It's called Halloween. The concert kicks off a little uh, tour promoting the Green Album. Excellent, excellent. And you said you basically just stepped out of an in-store uh, when when we got a hold of you tonight. Uh, how, how was that? How's the reception been uh, to all the new stuff? Oh, it's been great, man. People are loving it. We're in, uh, we've been doing a lot of promo around the record, so we did in-stores uh, both uh, yesterday and today. We did a couple each day, and big great turnouts and. Uh, People are, people are loving the new record, Fiona, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's cool. That's our 10th studio full night, man. 10 years. This is our 10th album. We've been playing for 13 years. So it's kind of a milestone to put, you know, our 10th record to me is kind of a milestone, you know, the fact that we persevered through so much and that we're still standing strong, you know? Definitely, definitely. And uh, and tell us about the new record. Um, uh, it's uh, the Green Album, and uh, there's a little bit of a, a environmental theme behind it, it seems. Yeah, well, the Green Album, we want to make a statement with our 10th album, so we uh, titled it the Green Album. Um, obviously, it has two meanings, double meanings. One is green for the herb, you know, God, can you represent the herb to the fullest. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other is just being a, a citizen of planet Earth, you know, living on this planet Earth. So you see, see how bad uh, we fucked up the planet, these fucking huge oil companies, all this crazy destruction that we've done to this planet. But it's time we start all taking and, uh, and, and we as a people demanding the government to use clean energy, you know, and, and break our dependency from foreign foreign oil, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's insanity, you know what I mean? And we've been talking about it for years on our albums, and now we're finally seeing the collapse of the system, those banks being seized and shut down, the credit market, the housing market, the whole, the whole, the, you know, the whole financial infrastructure, the planet, I mean, we're living in crazy times right now, you know what I mean? And, and we've been I, I, I mean, for me, I'm, I've, I've, I've been writing about it for years, so I'm not one bit surprised. Yeah, people are so shocked, but I'm not one bit surprised at the time that we start demanding change, that, you know, and uh, we try to do it through our music, so we're donating a percentage of the profits from the record towards some environmental groups and some uh, non-profit groups. And I, I'm sure it'll make a small dent, but, you know, if everybody, you know, we're doing what we can, you know, that's all I can say. Mm-hmm. Every little bit helps, and and I know the, the the packaging. I gotta ask, packaging packaging recycled? Yes, yes, <laughs> it is. Excellent, because I I was kind of surprised when I got that in the mail. Um, and uh, it, and I've had a few listens to the album, and uh, there's definitely a lot, a little bit more of a, the positive message coming out uh, here here and there in the songs. I also noticed a, a kind of a different sound, especially on the track with Tech Nine with Sex Toys. I mean, every single record we make, we try to create original, innovative records. I mm-hmm. want every album to have its own identity and sound. Matter of fact, for that case, we try to make every song we write have its own identity. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, we're not, I'm not trying to recreate or redo anything we've done, or I'm not trying to, uh, 
we sound like anybody else but us. We're trying to stay true to ourselves. We write about hopefully songs. There's, you can't get song, you know, hope and inspiration and positivity from the songs. And there's, you know, songs like Don't Give a Fuck, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. on the record. It's, it's just, it's, we have songs like Pack Your Bowls, Free World, Plant the Seeds. I mean, it's just kind of, we're just true to ourselves. We make records and then uh, hopefully other people will like it, you know. Mm-hmm. And and just, if they don't, then that, that's fine too. You know, it's not for everybody. But you know, we, we, when we make songs, we believe it's still, if we're happy with the song, it'll go on the record. You know. Mm-hmm. And interestingly, uh, "Don't Give a Fuck" is followed right up by the song "Happy." <laughs> Say that again. I said uh, the song "Don't Don't Give a Fuck" is uh, followed right up by the song "Happy." So. There you go. <laughs> happy. You know, the hook on happy is called happy, but we like smoking some weed and drinking our drink. We mm-hmm. like doing our mm-hmm. thing because it makes us happy, basically. It's like, why are you worried about what we're doing? You know? We live our lives to make ourselves happy, you know what I mean? We don't, you know, as long as you're, you're respecting other people around you and doing your own thing, just, you know, go ahead, get your, you know, enjoy your life. Excellent. All right, I'm going to get a little bit into these questions here that were submitted. Once again, Gibby Do- Too Dope, a uh, member of the Western PA Juggalos, has always been a huge fan uh, of uh, of everything suburban noise, it seems, and always has a lot of stuff he wants to ask you that he passes along. Um, uh, first of all, you said you were you're you're touring uh, for the Halloween uh, season uh, for the green the green album. Uh, are we going to see a second leg, and are we going to see you guys out here uh, East Coast anytime soon? I know you guys come out here a good bit. Yeah, the first leg is the West Coast and the Southwest. Okay. And then uh, we come back, we do some more. Uh, we're actually doing a thing called the Wonders of Cannabis right after Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving weekend in New York City, and it's a big, like, weed thing. And uh, if somebody wants to come out to that, come on through. But uh, the, the second leg of the, store, the tour is going to start in February or March. That's when we're going to hit the East Coast, the Midwest, and everything. You know, that's featuring Cottonmouth Kings, La Coca Nostra, who we're just signing to Sub Noise right now. Send all this type of sale. There's a couple special guests. Um, we're trying to get on that tour. I'm not going to say their names just yet, just because they haven't been 100% confirmed. But look for that in, uh, mm-hmm. in uh, late February through March and uh, April. Excellent. Um, and one sec here. Um, and one question he asks is, uh, uh, being being ours yourself, uh, you know, what, what was it like? Uh, like you you kind of cross cross borders. You you started with the uh, humble gods and with Cottonmouth Kings with more hip hop as or a rip hop as you call it. Uh, it. You've been all over musically. Like uh, uh, what, what's it like to come, what, what's the difference between doing a punk band like hum, humble gods and going towards Cottonmouth Kings? Obviously, the energy of a punk band is it's alive. It's live. It's fast. It's, it's a whole different energy. Cottonmouth Kings is based in hip hop. We do add elements of punk rock to, to punk rock to some of the songs. That's where we came up with our rip hop. We're actually punk rock right into a, a hip hop part. Like we'll go from, uh, you know, what and just totally flip the beat. You know, I mean, half time it, and that's when we kind of, kind of stumbled upon that style. We it, we refuse the two. We call it rip hop. But as far as the energy, Cottonmouth Kings, the energy of Cottonmouth Kings show is. Uh, um, we're all over the map. Like we'll do a punk song, we'll do hip hop songs, we'll do mellow acoustic stuff. It's we grew up in California, and, and uh, I think we're exposed to all the elements. Punk rock was really big out here where we when we were growing up and where we grew up. Um, hip hop, of course, was mm-hmm. a big part of our lives. And like mellow stuff, like Bob Marley, reggae, you know, Sublime, just that kind of stuff is really uh, part music that we love too so we, we just do music that we love and, and we try to do our own interpretation of it excellent uh now like i said it's been uh just over a year since i talked to you last on here and i i just listened to it i know uh i know we talked a lot before about uh how uh the music industry has been really uh on a downswing and you guys have really benefited by, from that by working with the artists more um how's it been in the last year are you guys seeing a lot more uh, uh, happening? Are you guys getting affected by the economy? Uh, all this bullshit going on with the Wall Street, uh, as it seems every industry is. Everybody I know, every, work, the industry I work in seems to be. Um, I mean, you know, what, how's it been in the last year for suburban noise? Well, I think everybody across the board, man. Just, I mean, when you're, uh, when you, when it costs four dollars a count of gasoline or some crazy, all of a sudden that extra money you might have in your pocket to go to a concert, or buy a CD or something, all of a sudden you're 
mm-hmm. having a hard time just trying to pay your rent or get food on the table or put gas in your tank. You know, it, it affects everybody, you know, but um, the bottom line is music has always been something that I think people can turn to in times of trouble and in, the, in tough times in their lives. Music seems to be the uh, escape to help you get through those times. So I think people find a way to, uh, you know, especially the internet nowadays, they can find music. They don't necessarily have to go physically buy a CD. You know, they can still hear the music and put on their iPod or cell phone. And, mm-hmm. you know, we put the music out to the world. Hopefully, you know, people will get it however they got to get it, you know. Excellent. Excellent. And, um... And along that, uh, speaking of artists out there, but there's one question that's been popping around. Uh, where's Judge D, Judge D been? Judge D has been, uh, you know, working on a couple different things. He did a whole, uh, he did a whole album's worth of material with his band. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he's also been working on a hip hop album. He's actually gonna come up to my house in a couple of weeks. I have a studio at my house and we're gonna record his album and, Look for Judge D uh, putting out a new album in '09 on Sub Noise. Excellent, excellent. Is there anything else we need to? Uh, we should definitely be looking out for in '09. Like, is there going to be another uh, Cottonmouth Kings DVD or anything coming up? Well, you got, of course, the Green Album just dropped. Uh, King Spades in the studio working on an album right now. Another one. Uh, head, head PE. Uh, yeah, it's King Spades doing the new album right now. Come out '09. Head PE got New World Orphans coming out, which is sick. Big B, the White Trash Renegades in the studio now. Nice. Uh, he had the record coming out in 09. A lot of releases in 09. Uh, X Clan has an album called Mainstream Outlaw coming out. Um, uh, let me think here. Cottonmouth Kings have Hit Stash 4 dropping uh, probably right before summertime or something like that. Um, Some more soldiers were doing the record where we're remaking a lot of the uh, hip hop classics. Uh, from the golden era, all the different artists are doing songs against, but we're doing remakes, all the hip hop classics. Nice. And, uh, On Rit Law is a record coming out. Potluck has a new album coming out. Lots of stuff going on. Uh, um, just go to the, uh, com- you know, suburbanoiserecords.com to check out all the new releases. And we do appreciate people's support on underground music and, uh, always, always keeping Suburban Noise Records in business all these years, you know. Excellent. Uh, and the other question is, uh, is are we going to see a Daddy X solo once again anytime soon? Yes, I've been working on a new album. Uh, it's kind of an eclectic hip-hop, kind of acoustic, eclectic uh, album. It's called Organic Produce. Um, got a lot of songs for it. Just kind of, uh, I've just been working at my house. I live up in the mountains. just have a studio up there. It's been uh, basically really just loving making music and just having a good time doing it and Hopefully that'll come out maybe summertime of next year. Yeah, I'm always amazed. I'm sure I've commented on this before, but you guys always seem to have like so much stuff coming out. Like not just across the board, but just like from the the core Cottonmouth Kings. Like do you, you guys, suppose other bands that seem to take three years to put a, an album out, and you guys just keep putting them out, and it's all quality stuff. Like how how do you keep that cycle going? I mean, well, obviously you have studios on buses and at your house, but other than that. I think, I think the whole, you know, the whole philosophy be, behind Suburban Noise was to do the complete opposite of the major label cycle and system. And we were trying to put out records, you know, when we wanted to put them out, how we wanted to put them out. And we love making music. We love, and so we have a passion and love for it. So it's like making music is the easy part. I mean, like, yeah, I've, we have we probably recorded over 60 songs for the Cotton Mouth King record, you know, mm-hmm. so I'm sure that we're at, we've been in the studio working on a record called Rip and Tear. It's a Cotton Mouth King record, a full punk rock record. We'll have some rip-hop songs on there, too, but it's a full punk rock record. We record 18 songs for it. It's just kind of like a, uh, yeah, just whatever. It's called Rip and Tear. It's just Cotton Mouth King's in full-blown punk rock mode. It's pretty, pretty out of control. Nice. Just for something different to for, uh, for ourselves, you know, to, to just have fun doing it. Excellent. And uh, and these are questions I, I've, I've been meaning to get to every time I have you guys on, but never do. Uh, Gippy asks, what kind of bud does uh, Daddy X like to smoke the most? I like anything that's really green. I like stuff that's grown outdoors and organic weed the, the most, you know what I mean? I, I, I've been liking uh, Skunk One, The Hazes, uh, White Widow, um, Train Wreck Diesel, Sour Diesel, out here in Cali right now, man, it's just, if, if you're anywhere else in the country and 
so I could get harassed for a smoke of weed, come out to California, get your 215 cards, and you'll have no problems, man. They sell them every street corner. It's almost like, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's like mini Amsterdam as, uh, they should rename this cannabis state, is what I said to one of our songs, and for, it's never been truer. Nice. And, uh, he also asks, um, do you like to smoke bongs or vaporizers more? I personally like, uh, joint, rolling joints myself. Mm -hmm. I smoke joints, joints too, but, uh, Pacalique is big on the vaporized. Uh, I think most of the other guys are, are big on the bongs. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, um, and like I said, it's the presidential season. We're less than a week away from the big, uh, event. What do, what do you think about what's going on out there? Uh, the, are you a, a bombite or a McCain or F them both? Well, I mean, honestly, it's like this. It's, it's kind of funny that you have two choices, Coke or Pepsi. You know? mm -hmm. What do you want, Coke or Pepsi, Democrat or Republican? It's kind of funny that we, that we have two choices. You know, I, Obviously, uh, between the two choices, I would definitely, I think we gotta get the Republicans the fuck out of office. You know, they totally fucked up the whole economy of this country, the, our, our reputation around the world, they just damaged that. So I think we're in for a radical change. I think Obama will win by a landslide. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't, then you definitely know it's crooked. You know, if you didn't know that already, but, uh, so I see, I see Obama winning by a landslide. So if McCain wins, I should start getting my papers ready for Canada? Hey, at least it's free health care up there, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you know, I really don't see, I don't see uh, Obama not winning. I just don't see any way it's going to mm -hmm. happen. I think he's pretty much put there. The fact that we, you know, the biggest enemies in the world that we've been looking for is uh, uh, Osama bin Laden and uh, uh, Saddam Hussein all of a sudden. Uh, uh, Barack Hussein Obama is now the uh, running for president of the United States. Pretty funny, I think. It's, um, he seems to be a pretty well-spoken. He has great ideas. He seems to be a dynamic leader, super smart. Mm -hmm. um, I think it'll be great for our relations with the rest of the world and definitely with the Middle East. So I think uh, hopefully he can put us back on, uh, on a good track. I, th I think we will see him be the next president. It's pretty historical. I never thought that. You know, I think it's pretty bitching that we're uh, going to have a black president. I love it. I think it's a great, <laughs> great time in America. I love that it turned into either you're going to have the black one, uh, black uh, president or the female vice president. So we're breaking barriers no matter where we go. Yeah, you know what? The bottom line is I think everybody out there, we need a fucking radical change, man. And we need mm -hmm. to, this whole path that we've been on, outlawing nature and outlawing the planet, destroying the planet fucking old, it's over, we're, you know, we need to start thinking about what we're really doing, if we're even going to be here in the human race in, a, in, you know, in a couple of decades here, if we don't turn things around quickly, and it could sound like a lot of uh, paranoia or conspiracy, but that's a reality, a scientific reality, you know what I mean, I have a kid, I'm, I'm thinking about my kid's kid, you know what I mean, yeah. planting the seeds for the next generation, the next generation, and I, I think we all need to start thinking like that, getting out there in the streets, demanding change. Yeah, you know, being part of the revolution. Excellent. So, uh, Daddy, Daddy X for uh, 2012? Oh, uh, no, hell no. <laughs> I mean, I'll be as far away from politics as you can find me. I'll be up in the mountains making music. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, uh, Green Album's in stores now. Everybody go check that out. Uh, keep an eye on the dates for the, you guys' tours. Anything else you want to throw out there before I let you go tonight? Uh, yeah, just a uh, uh, piece of love to everybody out there, man. Keep your head up, and I know this is be a hard times right now. Uh, you know, just we'll make it through. Peace. All right, thanks a lot, man. It's been a great talk. Right, Check them out, CosmoKings.com, and uh, keep checking back. Western We're gonna have a lot of stuff coming. Thanks a lot. Southwestern Theater Dot com.